start with Action News reporter Annie McCormick live from the watch party at the Franklin Institute in Center City. Hey, Annie. Hey, and if you couldn't be where Adam is right now, this was definitely the place to be. This party started at 1.30 this afternoon. Of course, the peak moment was 3.23 when it reached the maximum. Like you said, there was a little bit of cloud cover, but still, there were some breaks in the clouds and we were able to get a great view. Well, the party here at the Franklin Institute, like I said, began around 1.30. They had tents out here that gave you the ability to view the eclipse through the tent, and there was a protective covering on the roof of that tent, and that was good because they ran out of glasses early today, those coveted glasses. There were also telescopes that they had out here as well. There was also a beer garden and also donuts that were perfect for out-of-this-world treats. Well, the Philadelphia area is, of course, not in the path of totality. According to the Franklin Institute, the moon covered 90% of the sun at 323 today. Well, Derek Pitts, the chief astronomer here, explained what exactly we saw. Plus, we had some reaction from some of the thousands that came out here to get a glimpse. So the darkness that we see in Philadelphia at maximum today comes from two things, really. It comes from the disk of the sun being covered by the moon about 90%, and it also comes from the cloud cover we have. So there's two things together, and you can tell the difference because the lighting looks a little odd. This is science capital here in Philadelphia, and I think that it's awesome that you see so many people that are interested in the science part of it. But it's just, the whole vibe is just, you, you just can't even walk in the street. It's awesome. But I think anybody that's interested in understanding what's going on in the science realm needs to be down here today. Absolutely. And everyone that was able to come down here was very lucky. And another thing that's very cool, since we're in Center City, there were a lot of people that were in their offices that left for lunch and maybe didn't come back, but they made it an office event. That's what a lot of the people that we were standing here with getting a glimpse. And the one definition that I love that Derek Pick says is he calls it celestial mechanics. That is how he gets into the nitty gritty of explaining it all. So amazing guy, amazing guy. So a lot of fun out here at the Franklin Institute today. That's what we saw. For now, we're live outside of the Franklin Institute. Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. Yeah, it looks like the party's still going on behind you, Annie. Oh, is that yeah. A, is that a oh, yeah. some kind of penguin on the move? Yeah. Tonight? Okay, we'll explain that later. Annie, thank you.